welcome back to When Crafting is Life. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing my Happy the Horse pattern with you and going through round 27 of her pattern, which is where we attach all the limbs in the round. Um, just one thing I wanted to discuss with you that I've noticed um, is just when it comes to the way that your stitches are facing, so your right side and wrong side facing. Now, Generally, it won't matter. It is a personal preference um, to how you prefer the texture of the stitches to look. Um, but in terms of a pattern like this, where there are lots of moving parts that are all being crocheted into one and all that need to face a particular way, um, you will need all of your limbs and stitches the right side facing for this one. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so you've made the two back legs to start with, and then you've made two front legs. Now the second front leg that you've made is the one where we do not fasten it off. We're going to continue on with the second front leg made to work the body. So to start with that, we need to single crochet three more around the second front leg made. And then we're going to chain eight. Okay. So we are going to attach this now to a back leg. And we are going to attach it with a single crochet in the 13th stitch back from where we fastened off. So we fastened off here. So we're going to count 13 stitches back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that is the stitch that we are going to single crochet into. When you single crochet into it, just make sure your working yarn is around the back so that you can work the stitch. Okay, so that joins the back and the front leg together. And as you can see, both of the legs are facing, or the toes are facing forward. All right, so now we are going to single crochet 19 more around this leg. So that would be 20 stitches total worked on the back leg and the remaining stitches will be left when we attach the belly stitch. Okay, once you have worked the 20 stitches total around the back leg, we are going to chain four. And then we are going to pick up the second back leg. And we're going to attach with a single crochet into the second stitch from where we fastened off. So one, two. Just make sure your working yarn is behind. Okay, and then like the other back leg, we are going to single crochet 19 more. So just where you fastened off as well, I haven't done the slip stitch just so you can see it, but you would normally have a slip stitch in this stitch as well. And then you would just single crochet straight into the top of that. Okay, so once you've worked the 20 stitches around the second back leg, that will bring you to the front. So you can see the front will be facing forward. And then we are going to chain eight. Okay, so then we pick up the last front leg and for this one we are going to single crochet to attach into the third stitch after we fastened off. Okay, so one, two, three. So 
going to single crochet in there to attach it and then we're going to single crochet 17 more around the leg so that'll be 18 stitches total worked around the front leg and the remaining stitches will be left to attach the belly okay so once we've single crocheted 18 total stitches around the front leg um, we will have all of our limbs attached in a line now what you want to do is make sure that none of your chains have twisted while you've been working. See that's all twisted. That one's good. That one's twisted. Okay, so make sure you don't have any twists and chains there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the two front legs, which means they're going to come around into a ring. So to do that, we're going to chain four. Bring this around, making sure you don't twist your chains out again. And we're going to attach the front legs into the seventh stitch after your first lot of eight chains. So that was your first lot of eight chains. So we're going to count from the stitch after you can see that there. Okay. So that'll be in the seventh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. okay. Just want to make sure your working yarn is on top. the seventh stitch there. And then like you did with the front leg, you're going to single crochet 17 more around the front leg. Okay, so once you've worked the 18 stitches around the second front leg, you'll be back to where you started on that first lot of eight chains. Um, and all of your limbs will be connected now in a ring and all of the feet will be facing forward. So moving on to round, round 28, you will now include all of the stitches that you worked around the outsides of the legs and that will be the chains as well. So to start your round, you will work the inside loop or the back loop of the chain. And then marking that stitch, that'll be the new start for your rounds for the body. So you just continue on working through the inside or back loops of the chains and then around the stitches of the legs. Cool, I hope that helped. Enjoy.